I'm Joe Alton, MD, also known as Dr. Bones of doomandbloom.net, where you'll find close to 800 posts, videos, and podcasts on medical preparedness for any disaster. Together with my wife, Amy Alton, a nurse practitioner, we're the New York Times and Amazon best-selling authors of The Survival Medicine Handbook and other books, plus the designers of the awesome board game Doom and Bloom Survival, named by the Prepared Family blog as the Teaching Preparedness Resource of the Week. It's important to have medical supplies if you're the family medic for times of trouble, but a lot of these items, once used, must be discarded. Other, more reusable items and improvised bandages must be sterilized or otherwise disinfected. We've talked about how to sterilize instruments before, but now an article in the Journal of Wilderness and Environmental Medicine has proposed a novel new way that might have applications for the survival medic. The journal is an arm of the Wilderness Medical Society, of which I'm a member. Before I demonstrate this new method, let me quickly review common options in terms of cleaning instruments in survival settings. Simply placing them in gently boiling water for 30 minutes would be reasonable, but may not eliminate some bacterial spores and could cause issues with rusting over time, especially on sharp instruments like scissors or knives. By the way, always sterilize scissors and clamps in the open position. Soaking in bleach, sodium or calcium hypochlorite, 15 to 30 minutes in a 10% bleach solution will disinfect instruments, but no longer or rusting will occur, especially if you don't rinse them later. Some recommend adding a teaspoon of baking soda to slow down deterioration. Soaking in 70% isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol for 30 minutes is another option. Heat in an oven or over a fire might be an option if you had power or some way to assure that the heat from a fire would be evenly distributed. Soaking in chemical solutions that are specifically made for the purpose of high-level disinfection, like Cydex, C-I-D-E-X, is useful, especially for plastic instruments that can't stand heat. Immerse them overnight for the best effect. 6 to 7.5% hydrogen peroxide will work faster, but household hydrogen peroxide is only 3% and not as effective. Not all of these guarantee sterility, but one last reliable method does and it guarantees sterility in an austere setting. It's a pressure cooker. Having a pressure cooker or canner as part of your supplies will help you approach the level of sterility required for minor surgical procedures. You'll need to reach 15 to 20 PSI for 20 to 30 minutes and then allow everything to cool gradually. As you can imagine, pressure cookers aren't easy to lug from place to place, so it's best for those who plan to stay in place in a disaster scenario. Now to our journal findings. In a recent study commissioned by the military, UVC light, ultraviolet C light, was evaluated as a survival medical tool. In this study, instruments were laden with MRSA and other bacteria. Now these contaminated instruments were first scrubbed with chlorhexidine, hibiclens, for 30 seconds and dried with a sterile gauze 4x4. Then an ultraviolet C wand was passed within 4 inches over the instruments for 45 seconds. Now, evaluation afterward revealed a 100% reduction of bacteria and achieved levels of sterilization acceptable for immediate use in the field. If the instruments were not used right away, rapid vacuum sealing with a food saver actually extended the life of sterility. Now this method is quicker than older ones. The equipment is portable, not very expensive. This is a fancy one. And the results, 100% reduction of bacteria, are more reliable. Consider a UVC wand with rechargeable batteries and 4% chlorhexidine scrub solution for your medical storage. This is Joe Alton, MD, that old Dr. Bones, wishing you the best of health and good times or bad. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you need a solid medical kit for the range, for that hunting trip, or for disaster settings, check out Nurse Amy's entire line at store.doomandbloom.net. Thanks again. <music>